Hi, you're watching Anyverse English. My name is Jiang Xiaobai. I found myself transported from Earth to this world of cultivation. It's been 18 long years since my arrival, and everyone is marked by sickness. By luck, I was accepted into an immortal sect known as the Yunjian sect. I started as a mere menial servant, but with a promising future ahead. I firmly believe that through perseverance, I will one day obtain an immortal pill and finally cure my illness. Then, on a certain day, everything changed. Yang Qing, an outer disciple at the Qi refining stage, first layer, lifted me into the air and demanded, Newcomer, cough up all the spiritual stones and medicinal pills you received from Elder Huang. I'll ensure your safety in the spirit feeding ground from now on. I struggled against his grip, protesting, but Elder Huang gave those to me. Why should I give them to you? Onlookers whispered, Yang Qing is causing trouble again. With a dismissive tone, Yang Qing retorted, Why should I care? In an instant, he hurled me against the wall with a gust of wind. You're nothing but trash sweeping the floor. I could end you with a flick of my hand. Blood spewed from his mouth, a painful reminder of his perilous situation. He reflected on his arduous journey up the mountain, each step taken in the desperate pursuit of a cure for his fatal illness. Were it not for Grandpa Song's sacrificial protection and the timely intervention of a female immortal, he might have perished amidst the rugged terrain. Now, having finally gained entry into a sect and received medicinal pills and spiritual stones, he found himself threatened by another. How could he possibly accept this? Lost in his thoughts, Jiang Xiaobai was abruptly brought back to reality as Yang Qing cruelly crushed his hand underfoot, sending waves of agony through his body. Yang Cheng's voice cut through the pain, reminding him of the harsh truth within the Yun Jian sect. Only the strong prevailed. As a lowly servant in the spirit feeding ground, Jiang Xiaobai's existence mattered little to anyone. With a tone of authority, Yang Qing demanded not only the current offering but a monthly tribute of spiritual stones and medicinal pills, citing it as the established rule for all servants within the sect. Watching the scene unfold, another individual addressed Jiang Xiaobai with a sneer, reminding him of the hierarchy within the sect and the influence held by Yang Cheng's cousin, a direct disciple. It was a stark reminder that compliance was not just expected but enforced, regardless of personal hardship. Jiang Xiubai gritted his teeth, reluctantly conceding, Fine, I'll give in. Yang Cheng's smile turned sinister. Humph, at least you understand your place, he jeered, lifting his foot. Being an obedient dog is preferable to being a corpse. Hand them over now. In a surprising twist, Jiang Xiubai launched a counterattack, defiantly declaring, Give? I won't give you anything. The onlookers were stunned by his bold defiance. Without hesitation, Jiang Xiubai bolted away. A fellow servant, witnessing the scene, exclaimed, Little Bai. You've made a huge mistake. Blood trickled from Yang Cheng's nose as he rose to his feet, enraged. You. How dare you strike me, he roared, motioning to the other servants. Beaten to death. Hearing the commotion, other disciples shouted, Little Bai, run. Yang Cheng activated the speed-enhancing talismans, propelling himself forward like a rocket. Stop right there, he yelled. Jiang Xiaobai, seeing Yang Cheng's rapid approach, was stunned. So fast. I'm going to get caught. In his desperate flight, Jiang Xiaobai spotted a hidden path and darted into it without hesitation. This path is... As Yang Cheng observed Jiang Xiaobai's direction, his expression shifted instantly. Meanwhile, the servants trailing behind urgently shouted, Stop! That way leads to the forbidden zone. The servants addressed Yang Qing as boss. Yang Qing asserted, He's chosen to seek death on his own. This isn't our responsibility. If Elder Huang inquires, tell him he ran in of his own accord. Otherwise, don't expect to live comfortably. Reluctantly, the other disciples nodded in agreement. Yes. After running for a considerable distance, Jiang Xiubai finally came to a stop and collapsed by a bush, his body already bearing wounds from the chase. With trembling hands, he retrieved a medicinal pill and consumed it, thinking, to my broken body, this medicinal pill is my lifeline. Asking me to surrender them all is akin to asking me to give up my life. But why haven't they pursued me here? As he pondered, his eyes widened in realization. A colossal monster materialized beside him, emitting a deafening roar. I've been sealed for so long. Finally. Jiang Xiaobai's frown deepened. A giant monster? Trembling, he stammered. Wait. I. I came here for a reason. The monster fixed him with a cold stare and questioned. A reason? 
Could it be? Could it be that you were sent by Ru Jian? Are you, or are you not? Upon hearing the name Ru Jian, Jiang Xiaobai pondered, Ru Jian is the ancestor of the Yun Jian sect. Could this giant monster have some connection to Ru Jian? Then, he replied cautiously, Ru. Yes, I was sent by him. The monster's mouth twisted into a sardonic smile. Fine, fine, fine. That old man Ru Jian lied and said I would only be sealed for 100 or 50 years. Yet, in this century, he didn't dare to show up at all. Did you come to mock me? At that moment, Jiang Xibai understood why ancestor Ru Jian had used chains to imprison the giant monster. The monster continued, or did he finally send you to help me? No, even he couldn't aid me unless this feeble little man somehow can. Observing Jiang Xiaobai, the monster remarked, Your soul power is remarkable. Wait, not only that. You. You were born with an innate soul root. The probability of an ordinary person possessing a spirit root is quite high. The only difference lies in whether it's of good or poor quality, the monster mused. But a soul root? That's something even geniuses or monsters might not possess. But this sick little guy in front of me possesses a soul root? Jiang Xiaobai, bewildered, thought, what? The monster inquired, you don't know? That old guy Rujian didn't tell you before. Jiang Xiaobai nodded hesitantly. Why? Yes. Yet, inwardly, he pondered, this is my first time hearing of soul power or soul root or whatever. How would I even know? Whatever. The monster dismissed. I can't be bothered to care about all that. Not only did that old man Rujian send you here without telling you why, but you also possess an innate soul root. Since that's the case, why don't you give it a try? If you can pull that thing out, I'll spare your life. Upon hearing the monster's proposition, Jiang Xiubai's mind raced, suddenly changing his mood and asking me to pull something out. Don't tell me. Realizing the potential danger, he strategized. This monster talked about killing me from the start. If I comply, I might be killed immediately. I have to take the initiative to gain the upper hand. It's the only way to save myself. Since that's the case. With resolve, he firmly denied, no. His decision was incredibly decisive. The monster, taken aback, wondered, what? Jiang Xiubai countered, you wanted to kill me. Why should I help you? Enraged, the monster shouted, you. I will kill you today. Internally, Jiang Xiubai urged himself to remain calm. For the sake of freedom, bear it, bear it. Then, he responded with unwavering determination, fine, fine. I won't kill you. But if you can pull it out, I will reward you. Unmoved, Jiang Xiubai retorted, I don't care about that. The monster inquired, then what do you want? Jiang Xiubai's response was cold and direct. Apologize to me. And you must promise not to kill me. The monster, taken aback by Jiang Xiaobai's request, contemplated silently. You want me to apologize to you? Very sincere. The monster lowered its head respectfully and said, Fine, fine, fine. This venerable one will apologize to you. This venerable one also promises never to kill you. Jiang Xiaobai nodded in satisfaction. That's more like it. Cough, cough. Speak, what? What do you want me to pull out? The monster leaned closer, revealing a sword lodged above its nose. Jiang Xiaobai's eyes widened in surprise. What is that sword? The monster explained, A hundred years ago, I accidentally wandered into a secret realm and managed to escape, but not before this. Thing pierced my head. It's a cursed blade, the monster continued. I've searched for many to pull it out, but no matter their cultivation level, they either perished or suffered severe injuries. Even your ancestor attempted it once, and his soul was nearly destroyed. The monster's frustration grew evident. Then, your ancestor lured me here and imprisoned me with these chains. Damn it. My mind is starting to get influenced by this damn sword again, the monster exclaimed urgently. Kid, if you don't act now, it'll be too late, and I'll have swallowed you before you can pull out the sword. Upon hearing the monster's desperate plea, Jiang Xiubai recalled, I understand why Ancestor Rujian used chains to imprison this giant monster here now. He must have been afraid that this monster would lose its mind and kill mindlessly, right? But what other choice do I have? None at all. No matter what I do, I die. But at least by stepping forth, there is a chance that I might survive. With a sense of resignation, Jiang Xiaobai began climbing the monster, thinking, I don't have any other choice. But if Ancestor Rujian couldn't pull the sword out, 
Is it even possible for me to do it? It's so high up. The urgency in the monster's voice interrupted his thoughts. Can you hurry up? Grimacing with effort, Jiang Sibai retorted, Can't you see that I'm trying my best? As he reached above his head, the monster shouted, Why aren't you pulling it out? Struggling to maintain his grip, Jiang Xiaobai gasped. I feel like I'm about to drop dead. I need to rest. Frustrated by the delay, the monster demanded, Hurry up. Shaking his head to clear it, Jiang Xiaobai stabilized himself and snapped, Hey, don't move around. As soon as Jiang Xiaobai grabbed the sword, a purple aura emerged from it, and a sinister black chi climbed over his hand. This is bad, he realized. The black chi has a mind of its own and is trying to devour my spiritual chi. Desperation crept into his voice as he shouted, My hand is stuck. I can't let go. No wonder Ancestor Rujian couldn't endure it. Summoning every ounce of strength, he finally managed to pull the dagger free. This damn black sword devours people. As he collapsed to the side, the monster caught him and remarked, This brat. Managed to pull it out. This young one achieved what even the old monster Rujian couldn't. If he continues to grow, the humans will have another genius. If that's the case, I should kill him now. It'll save me all the trouble later on. As the monster considered its options, its attention was drawn to the sword as it gradually disappeared into Jiang Xiaobai, its aura being absorbed by him. The monster's eyes widened in astonishment. He absorbed the sword? After placing Jiang Xiaobai on the ground and waiting for him to regain consciousness, the monster observed him closely. When Jiang Xiaobai's eyes fluttered open, he grabbed his head in confusion. Then, noticing the monster's gaze, he snapped. You scared me. What are you glaring at me for? The monster sighed, you. Forget it. This venerable won't argue with you. Simultaneously, it pondered, I didn't have high hopes for this brat at first, but who would have known? With a nod of approval, the monster remarked, not bad. You pulled out the sword. Jiang Xibai extended his hand and asked, where did it go? The monster explained, you absorbed it. Jiang Xibai's expression turned to one of alarm. Absorbed it? That dangerous thing went inside my body. As he flicked his hands anxiously, the monster reassured him, you won't be able to touch it. The absorption can be categorized into two types, spirit absorption and soul absorption. For spirit absorption, the sword is located in the Dantian, while for soul absorption, it is located in the Muddy Pellet. You don't have any spiritual power, so you should belong to the latter. The Muddy Pellet is also known as the Upper Dantian. In the way of cultivation, people with spiritual roots are extremely rare, the monster continued. If your spiritual root has attributes, then you will become the object of frenzy among major sections. Jiang Xiaobai sneered. Oh? So? Is it a good or bad thing that I absorbed it? The monster chuckled and replied, Ha. Huh. I'm afraid no one can give you an answer to that question. Why? Jiang Xiaobai inquired. The sword is eerie and has an unclear origin. It has troubled this venerable for a hundred years. Whether it is a blessing or a curse to have absorbed it, you can only find out for yourself. That didn't answer anything at all. Jiang Xiubai lamented. Just escaped a disaster to end up in another mess again. Sigh. Then, he recalled their previous conversation and asked, Didn't you say that if I could pull the sword out, you would reward me? Are you trying to run away? Your body is so majestic and extraordinary, your temperament so noble. Surely, you would not deceive a little person like me. The monster replied, Oh, this venerable. Naturally, this venerable won't play a joke like that. Tell me, what reward do you want? Jiang Xiaobai pondered, the black sword embedded within me must be removed, but this demon has been suppressed for so long. I'm uncertain if he's capable. For now, I must set this matter aside. There's another pressing issue to address, Jiang Xiaobai mused. If I return now, Yang Qing, who's hot on my trail, won't show me any mercy. He might even attempt to end my life. Given the circumstances, Jiang Xiaobai trailed off, then addressed the demon. Do you possess a means to ensure my safety? No, it would be preferable if you could eliminate him. How pathetic I am, Jiang Xiaobai lamented. While other transmigrators wield vast power and dominate, I, Jiang Xiaobai, am bullied by the scoundrels of the immortal sect. The demon's lips curled into a smirk. Oh, you seek vengeance? He's a despicable human, and he's stronger than me, making confrontation futile. Jiang Xiaobai explained. The demon inquired, What about ancestor Ru Jian? Did he abandon you like this? Jiang Xiaobai hesitated. 
I intended to seek counsel from Ancestor Rujian, but encountering you has altered my plans. The monster questioned, Why? Jiang Xiaobai retorted, Why? Ha, huh, why indeed? Do you truly need to ask? If it weren't for your unparalleled presence and commanding aura, would I have sought you out? The monster chuckled, Well said, young one. It seems you possess keen insight at such a tender age. You've discerned the hidden valor within this venerable. Very well then, the monster continued, I shall assist you, but there's a condition. You must lure that individual here, the monster instructed. Once accomplished, leave the rest to me. Rubbing his chin thoughtfully, Jiang Xiaobai pondered, luring him here won't be easy. When Yang Qing chose not to pursue me earlier, it indicated his wariness of this location. He's aware of your presence and fears you. The monster interjected, there may be another approach. Later, at the Immortal Sect residence. A weary servant emerged, muttering to himself, another day of endless chores and sweeping. I'm utterly drained. His fatigue vanished in an instant as he caught sight of Jiang Xiaobai. Brother Zhou, he exclaimed. Approaching Jiang, Zhou marveled, Brother Jiang, you're alive? Jiang Xiaobai grinned, yep, alive and kicking. Zhou's eyes widened with curiosity. Did you encounter anything unusual inside? Jiang shook his head. Nope. I was so exhausted that I passed out shortly after entering. Brother Zhou, Jiang continued, can you update me on Yang Cheng's situation? Zhou hesitated, then asked, Brother Jiang, what are you planning? In a hushed tone, Jiang whispered, what if I told you I intend to eliminate him? Zhou frowned caution in his voice. Brother Jiang, mind your words. Yang Cheng has influential allies within our sect. We can ill afford to provoke him or his cousin, an esteemed disciple. Had you offered him the elixir and spirit stone earlier, he might have left you in peace. I've experienced his arrogance firsthand, but I never expected you to. Jiang Xiaobai retorted, you didn't expect me to take action against him, did you? Servant Zahu nodded vigorously. Yeah. Brother Zhou, hear me out, Jiang persisted. Zahu interjected, no, no, this is way too dangerous. Brother Zhou, consider this, Jiang pressed on. We're already lacking in resources. If the few pills we possess are stolen again, we'll remain as menial workers for the rest of our lives. While others might have resigned themselves to this fate, I refuse to accept it. If there's even a sliver of hope, I'll pursue it, even if, even if the path ahead is fraught with obstacles, even if it leads to my demise. It's still preferable to our current predicament. Our destiny shouldn't be dictated by others, Jiang continued passionately. So, eliminating Yang Qing is imperative if we ever hope to rise above. After a moment of contemplation, Servant Zahu inquired cautiously, Can you do it? Jiang Xiaobai nodded confidently. Yes. Zahu sighed, resigned. Fine, then I'll assist you. But brace yourself for the worst. Jiang smirked. Huh, death doesn't scare me. And I'll do my utmost to ensure you're not implicated. Zahu queried. So, when do you plan to execute the plan? Tomorrow, Jiang declared decisively. The next day, Yang Cheng stormed in, bellowing, Jiang Xiaobai returned alive? As Jiang Xiaobai opened the door. Yang Cheng roared. You're still breathing, brah? He then motioned to the others, teach him a lesson. With a flurry of fists, they hurled Jiang Xibai backwards. You think you're so tough? Let me give you one more chance to boast. Yang Qing sneered, his lips curling sinisterly. Unbeknownst to Jiang, two hours earlier. The monster had urged, come closer, extend your hand. As Jiang obliged, the monster's grip tightened, causing pain to shoot through Jiang's hand as a black Kai emerged. It hurts. Jiang winced. The monster explained, I've placed a five-path spirit seal on your body. In emergencies, you can use it to eliminate your opponent. However, due to your weak spirit, this power can only be invoked five times. Once activated, it only requires a single breath but can incapacitate anyone at the foundation stage or below. Jiang Xiaobai marveled, such immense power, and it only takes one breath. The monster continued, my spirit seal possesses unique after-effects. While its external power may astonish others, internally. You simply need to press your hand against your opponent's body, and it activates instantly, the monster explained. At that moment, the spirit seal's power will infiltrate their channels, causing them to explode in a burst of blood, resulting in their demise. The battlefield will become significantly more thrilling. Brat, 
I've provided you with the means to dispatch your foes. Whether you possess the courage to wield it is up to you, the monster concluded. Jiang Xiubai scoffed, ha, huh? why would I lack courage? If I underestimate my adversaries, I'm only being cruel to myself. So, I won't hesitate to treat my enemies with the severity they deserve, Jiang declared firmly. Yang Qing sneered, listen here, you thick skulled fool. In the servant's courtyard, no one dares to challenge me. There wasn't anyone before, there isn't anyone now, and there certainly won't be anyone in the future. Foul, insolent wretch, who do you think you are to defy me? I'll make sure you're crippled. Yang Qing threatened venomously. Jiang Xiaobai retorted, since when did an imbecile like you become the owner? You're unworthy of it. Back when we were among the inner disciples, you were no better than a lowly dog. You've resorted to using us servants to salvage your lost dignity, unable to best even a single inner disciple. Enraged by Zhang's words, Yang Qing charged forward, bellowing, you're asking for death. However, at that critical moment, Huang arrived from behind, shouting, stop. Yang Qing, momentarily distracted, puzzled over Huang's unexpected appearance. Huang Yin Yuan, isn't he in seclusion? Disregarding his confusion, Yang Qing forced a smile. Fine, we'll call it a day. Perhaps we can resume tomorrow, playing. As he ushered his cohorts to depart, Jiang Xiaobai subtly shifted his stance. Yang Qing failed to grasp Jiang's intentions. With a sinister smirk, Jiang Xiaobai uttered, You're nothing special. And with those words, he transformed his body into black chi. Onlookers furrowed their brows in confusion as Jiang Xiaobai suddenly collapsed. What just happened? Why did Jiang Cheng explode? Suddenly, at that moment, a figure descended from above. It was Huang Lin Yuan from the spirit feeding ground. Surveying the scene, Huang Lin Yuan mused, Jiang Xiaobai is a recent addition, unlikely to possess such abilities. There must be someone else who attacked unnoticed. My strength is currently only at the ninth layer of the Qi refining stage, Huang thought, assessing the situation. The assailant could have effortlessly dispatched Yang Qing, indicating superior strength. They must be above me. Could they have already reached the foundation stage rankings? Huang wondered, considering the possibilities. The gap between the ninth layer of the Qi refining stage and the foundation stage is substantial. What if it's her? Jiang Xiaobai was sent by her to this place and they likely knew each other from the beginning, Huang Lin Yuan concluded, considering the situation, given her personality. I've been so foolish. Handing a medicine pill to Jiang Xiaobai, Huang then turned to the others and admonished, this incident must not be divulged. Otherwise, there will be consequences. The others nodded in agreement, affirming, yes, elder. Just then, Zhou Bin arrived, calling out, Jiang Xiaobai. Huang Lin Yuan instructed, Zhou Bin, take care of him. When he awakens, bring him to me. Zhou Bin respectfully complied, yes, elder. Then he inquired, what about Yang Cheng? He's deceased, Huang Lin Yuan replied calmly. Zhou Bin was shocked. He's dead. He, he did it. Later, in Jiang Xiaobai's dream. This sword, it resembles the one on the monster's head, Jiang mused, grasping it. Suddenly, Black Chi surged from the sword, enveloping him, and his consciousness shattered as he screamed, Ahath. 